All right, guys, Grumpy is back. And uh, for any of you that want to take the plunge and install Graphene OS on your Google Pixel, I'm going to show you how to do it in 10 steps. The first thing we need to do is actually put the phone into developer mode. So we need to enable that feature on the phone. Right, so you can see that I went into developer options, tapped 10 times to enable uh, developer mode, then going into system. Make sure that the OEM unlocking slider is turned on. At this point, you can just power off your phone. Now we're going to do is we're going to reboot the phone into recovery mode by holding the volume down button and power at the same time. So I'll show you that. And you can see that we're in fast boot mode and you notice the uh, device status here of locked. So we did enable OEM unlocking in the last step. So look, we're just going to leave the phone in this state right now and we're going to go to the command prompt and download some utilities that we need. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, install the platform tools. And in this example, I'm gonna be using a Debian-based machine, but on Mac or Windows, you're probably gonna use the terminal or you're gonna use be using PowerShell as per the instructions. I'm literally just going to copy these commands into the terminal. And since I've already installed, I'm not getting an error, but I did not get an error in the first place. So we've done that. Now we just need to add the platform tools into our path so that the system can recognize the commands that we're typing in. Okay, and that's done. Next thing we're gonna need to do is install uh, the Android SDK platform tools. Again, because I'm on a Debian-based machine, I'm just gonna paste that in here. And because I've already installed it, it's already there. There's nothing else to do. So this is the part where we're going to start to interact with the phone. So let me bring back the phone here. So we're still here and it still says and it's in a lock state. And now we're going to issue the unlock command. So fast boot flashing, sorry, flashing, and then unlock. And you can see what's happened to the phone here. It's basically saying, uh, if you unlock the bootloader, you will be able to install a custom operating system, blah, 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 blah. And at the top here, you'll see that it says, do not unlock the bootloader. But by using the volume keys, we're gonna change that to unlock the bootloader. Right, so now we have unlock the bootloader selected and all we have to do is hit the power button to activate. Okay, so we've activated that. The phone's gonna just sort of reboot and go back to recovery here. Yep, so now as you can see, we're in fast boot mode. We have the pylon here telling us something is not right and the device status of the bootloader is unlocked. So now we can move on to the next step. The next step is we need to get the uh, factory image. And obviously you're gonna to need to get the factory image for the device that you'll be flashing. So in my case, I'm gonna be using um, the Pixel 3a XL and we can get that from the website so if we just go scroll back to the top here official releases and then you'll be brought to this page from here you can go into uh, 3a XL in my case and you can see that the um, Bonito factory is the one I'm going to be using 
the best way of doing this is the best way of obtaining the factory image is just using the curl command and just downloading both the zip file and the signature file from the website. So we'll go into the pixel A3A XL section and we'll copy the link. And as per the instructions, we'll just curl that down. And we'll do the same for the signature file. So now that we have both of those, so now we're on to the flashing the actual ROM. So we're gonna, so now you can go ahead and extract the factory image. So for me, I'm just, I'll just use unzip x bonito right factory.zip and we're gonna go ahead and extract that into the same directory that it's named okay so that's done so now if i go to bonito i have all these files in here and from here all we need to do is run flash all.sh and before i do that get this back up here and once we do that you can see we had a little flash of the phone there it's gonna it's gonna flash a couple times and then reboot I'm gonna let this run through. I'm not gonna fast forward this part. Okay, so we're complete. Uh, we didn't have any errors, everything seemed to flash. All right, now before we do anything else, we want to relock the bootloader. So we're gonna run fast boot, flashing, and then lock. And then you can see on the phone here, it's gonna ask us to, well, we're basically at the same prompt here, but this time we're gonna lock the bootloader. So we're gonna go ahead, click on the volume button where it says, now it says lock the bootloader and we're gonna hit power button. And now you can see the bootloader is locked and from here we can just hit start. So hit power to start the boot process. And it says here your device is using a different operating system. And it's gonna go ahead and boot into uh, to graphene and there you go. I'll just let it boot here for the first time so you can see it. These are all the applications that are gonna be installed after Graphene OS is installed. You can just see you have a basic gallery here and uh, a web browser, which is Chromium based, but it's hardened uh, from the Graphene OS team and a camera and SMS, that's pretty much it. So 
if you uh, stay tuned for my next video, I'm going to, uh, I guess, rec recommend, I guess, sort of some applications that I have on my install that you might uh, find valuable in order to sort of mimic what you had using Android. But anyways, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.